reports. One night after GOP vice presidential nominee Mike Pence came to Colorado Springs, the Trump camp sent Eric Trump our way. He spent the day in southern Colorado, and as our Eric Fink explains, both the Trump and Clinton teams in Colorado are targeting a specific group of voters. With just 12 days left, turnout is crucial. Headlining a veteran roundtable in Colorado Springs, Eric Trump says his father will always be behind our men and women in uniform when they come home. As long as I can remember, my father's been behind the military. I mean, and quite frankly, whenever he gets out on the stump every single time, you know, his first message is, is military first. You know, we need to have the strongest military in the world. But beyond that, our government's done a horrible job taking care of the men and women that are wounded when they come back. General Bentley Rayburn wants change. He'll be solid on the defense budget. He'll surround himself with the right kind of people to give him good advice. And uh, we will put American interests first, not personal interests. But across town, vets for Hillary Clinton dropping off their ballots. Tony Woluski argues the most important responsibility of the president is making that call to go to war. What's important to us is that that person is, has clear thinking, experience, and will think about this decision uh, before making a decision to go to war or use force because, you know, we carry these injuries the rest of our lives if necessary. We'll, we'll do that for our country, but only when, it should only be done when it's necessary. Two Air Force vets with two very different perspectives on who should be our next commander in chief. Hillary Clinton has shown a disdain for people in uniform ever since she was first lady. Her track record at the State Department and uh, with foreign affairs has been abysmal. Today, one of the family members for the other person is in the city. They assume that veterans support the Republican Party, and I'm just trying to say that those veterans of us that have thought about it, uh, realize what Commander in Chief is, support Hillary Clinton because she's someone we could trust to make these decisions. In Colorado Springs, Eric Fink, KRDO News Channel 13.